two local sisters. They're changing things up. We've got Elise and Lori left court. They created the plant-based creamer called Unicreamer, and they're here to share their Like a Boss story. Good morning, ladies. Good, Good morning. morning. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having so us. So tell us about this creamer. What is it made of? Yeah, so Unicreamer is a plant-based, dairy-free creamer. Um, it's designed to taste like a latte, but with a 100% clean label. So all of our flavors right here, um, hazelnut mocha and original, have five ingredients or less. Our main three ingredients we use are pea protein, and that's gonna help you stay fuller for longer. Um, we have MCT oil, which is gonna help you stay more focused. And we have sunflower lecithin, which is the ingredient that makes our product super creamy and also has health benefits. Oh, that's so cool. Cause I, yeah. I know I buy coffee creamer all the time and you look at the label and there are like 10 or more ingredients. So I love that you guys are keeping it like under yeah. that cause less ingredients, the better. Less is more. Exactly. I know. And your packaging is so cute. There's like little <laughs> unicorns on here. You guys can see. Unicorn. It's adorable. Do you guys I love unicorns. We, we, do, we love just representing, um, you'll hear about our mission, but it kind of represents our mission and who we stand for, and that's animals and just making people happy. So. Yeah. Great. <laughs> and then what's the story with how you guys created this together? Was it always your dream or how did it happen? Yeah, so I spent my younger 20s on Wall Street, and while life was pretty lavish, it was really rough on my health. Um, I started to notice my weight and my skin and my self-confidence just plummeted. Um, so as a solution and as a vegetarian and on the road, I started pouring my vegan protein mix into my coffee as creamer. And oh I gosh. saw her doing this and it was just this gross, chunky concoction. Yeah. And I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, but it really helped kick off a healthy lifestyle for me. And so fast forward five years later, I figured out a way to continue pouring protein in my coffee throughout the day, but now it just, is less chunky and it yeah. tastes really good. So. Oh my gosh, and that's just knocking out so many things at once. Your coffee gets creamy, exactly. you, don't, you don't get as hungry, you're getting more protein, yeah, right. and pea protein so on the rise right now. Exactly. Yeah. And then, so you guys have a couple different flavors. Did you run into any um, problems when you were like checking out different, or trying out different tastes for your creamers? Any challenges? Yeah, I mean, as entrepreneurs, we're facing challenges every single day, but I think one of our biggest challenges was to try to get it to actually taste good and have people crave it on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And pea protein it is the most hypoallergenic protein on the market, but it's hard to get it, the taste to mask and get it to taste good. Yeah. And then we also try to get it to dissolve like a creamer. Yeah. Um, Without using any sort of additives. Yeah. Because yeah. that's why I don't use as much protein powder because I don't like the taste of it. So if you can solve that problem, which it sounds like you have. Exactly. There you yes. go. Yeah. Um, is there really tough competition in the creamer industry? So yeah, there's definitely competition, especially with smaller brands taking market share from the bigger CPG brands. But I think where we really differentiate ourselves is our brand story. I think we have a story that people can really relate to. Mm -hmm. And we may be biased, but we think ours tastes the best and really is the only thing on the market right now that has that functionality, but is also vegan and dairy free as well. Love it. Yeah. And it smells so good too. I can yes, smell it yes. from right here. Please try it. I would love to. <laughs> this one is the mocha one, right? Yeah, so yeah. that's mocha and we put that in tea, so it's like a healthy version of a hot chocolate. It's delicious. Hey. It's chocolatey tea. That's I so know, <laughs> I know. Um, and you also, you uh, intentionally made these to go, right? Yeah, Correct. yeah, so back to Lori's story, the both of us traveled all the time for our jobs and it was super hard to find healthy and plant-based options when we were traveling. So when you're not feeling your best, you're not performing your best, and we knew if we were struggling with this, there was thousands of other people mm -hmm. out there too that also had this same problem. So we wanted to make sure that our um, Unicreamer was portable and accessible for anybody wherever they are. And we love that you guys support Animal Rescue and your mission as well. Thank you so much, ladies, for coming mm -hmm. in. If you want more info on Unicreamer, check out their website at unicreamer.com or their Instagram at Unicreamer.